Welcome to episode. <laughs> Welcome to episode eighteen, everybody. Uh, Andrew stopped in today to hang out with us and show yeah, us some cameras. Yeah. So we talk about some film cameras. We talk about Polaroids. He shows us a lot of cool uh, camera gear from the past. And uh, yeah, we also talk a little bit about uh, I don't know some Dungeons and Dragons die, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and we talk about our Tuesday tip, which is how to use your iPhone as a webcam. So there's a lot of fun stuff. You pull this Come on in. Come and on in and watch a, it. Some uh, golf ball. Welcome to Triflix Cast. We are professional videographers and photographers talking about the latest business practices, techniques, and tech with a little bit of fun sprinkled in. Today, uh, we are joined by one additional person. And it's not really a guest episode, but he's a guest, and but he's a friend. Ah. So we consider him as a co-host. So to my right, we have... Hey, it's me. It's Andrew. Andrew Andrew's Tail. back. I'm back. Wow. I'm What's your title? Friend. Uh, I don't know. I've had many titles at this company throughout the years. What would you um, like for today? For today? Lead actor. <laughs> <laughs> Lead actor. Supreme overlord. <laughs> nice. There we are. Andrew Teo, the supreme over- overlord. Next next on the list. I'm Tristan Watkins. I'm the overlord's uh, little henchman. That's me. Henchman. That's why we moved him. We said you get demoted. Yep. Wow. <laughs> okay. Then to my left. I am the Overlord's second in command. And what's your name? <laughs> and I'm, I'm David Baker. <laughs> I just, I'm just here. I'm very <laughs> passive aggressive, and I never bring you coffee when I bring the Supreme Overlord coffee. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't trust yes, you. Of course. Yeah. And course. I'm and I'm Cole. I am the Overlord's father. Um, mm. Just I'm just all, hanging out. <laughs> yep. Papa. I'm all of your daddies. Papa. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> you heard to hear, folks. What? The daddy of Call daddies. Me daddy. <laughs> I don't think I. That's a podcast. I, yeah, it's a podcast. And my name is Cole. So uh, somehow, uh, you know, uh, three quarters of this bunch run a company called Triflix, uh, based out of Columbus, Indiana. We are a media company, so this is our podcast. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first episode. <laughs> I'm I sorry. feel sorry for you. I'm so sorry. And <laughs> it's just but like if it's your 18th, then thanks for sticking with us during the season. Yeah, I just like that. So this is our podcast. This is like so get your own. You, like all the listeners, just go get your own. Get this your one's own. ours. Go get your own podcast. <laughs> you don't like it? Go make your own podcast. This I is own ours. This one. <laughs> or, get um, out of here. Okay, um, I am uh. the element of chaos. It's true. Oh. Uh, um, okay, so uh, yeah, for those of you that listen, this is uh, this is the portion of the podcast where we do our news segment. So we d- we pick a random news story, and I make these guys guess what it is, and then I tell them what it really is, and then we sometimes have a twenty minute debate on that item. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reference to the last episode. Check it out. Oh, there's water everywhere. Be careful. <laughs> hey. It happened right as he said, element of chaos. So, you know. Yeah. He sprinkled a little bit of chaos over on that side of the room. Okay, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just going to give you the first two words. Uh, so, the article is called Underwater Kiss. Yeah. David, what do you got? What do you think it's Underwater about? Underwater Kiss. I think it's someone who kissed a dolphin. Kissed a dolphin. Kissed a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob laugh. <laughs> Tristan, what do you think it's about? I like the dolphin idea, except they're like really aggressive, and there's a lot of known cases of where they. Are you okay? Hug. It's a lot of aggression. Mommy, <laughs> mommy, daddy, hug. Oh, oh gosh, gotcha. gotcha. Okie dokie then. That's loud, Andrew. I'm married. Boat crash. Two Boat boats crash. just. <laughs> they they kiss too hard. Ooh. Okay. Okay. With the dolphin. I really With like the dolphin. Yeah. I like all of your. Uh, all of your guesses, but they're not right. Oh, <laughs> oh, that happens every time. I know it's Shoot. crazy how that works. <laughs> so, for those of you, you who are listening to this, uh, you're listening to this from either the release on Friday and on. We record on Tuesday, so today is Valentine's Day. So yeah. it's it, kissy it, day. It goes with that. Oh yeah, we literally have nothing better to do on Valentine's Day. Yes, other than to record a podcast. You know what's for funny? You. Is three of us are married. I know. <laughs> We'll get to that later. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> this is the Doghouse Podcast. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good name for uh, one. I kind of like it. Just, no, I'll that would, bleep that. It. Would be cool. So we can keep. You it. know, it's good to know that. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I I celebrated yesterday, so I'm uh, in the clear. I'm celebrating tomorrow. You know. <laughs> 
Sure. It was either Monday or Wednesday, and Wednesday I'm busy, so <laughs> so are you. <laughs> um, okay, anyways, so the article is about the, I didn't know this existed, but it is a, the Underwater Kiss world record was broken for Valentine's Day. <laughs> How long do you guys think that these people, is Beth, who's 40, Beth? for whatever reason they told us that, and her fiance, <laughs> Miles, is 33. Hmm. They locked lips, on, locked lips underwater in the Maldives. Uh, Maldives. Whatever. On February 4th. <laughs> and kissed underwater. How long do you think they kissed for? 16 minutes. <laughs> Did they <laughs> use like scuba gear? No. No. They didn't? No. Unbroken kiss. They, they just kept come inhaling off. and well, exhaling I mean, like, in each other's mouths. Like, like, I don't just know. The like thing. five minutes. Oh, there's a picture. This is what it looks like. They filmed it. Wow. There's a YouTube okay. video. I've so seen that's snorkels. Little, that's a little pipe thingy. It's a like, snorkel. The world uh, record for like world like underwater breathing is like 22 minutes or something stupid. Dude just sits there. So I'm I'm thinking 16. No, uh, not uh, that long. It's like five minutes. I'm going 15 just to undermine you. Uh, Teo was the closest. What? The four, minutes. four minutes and six seconds. Really? Yeah. Uh, the other record was in 2010 for three minutes and 24 seconds. Just get Can the you two. Show us a picture of them. Come on. Wait, are they Come just on. like? Are they just like? They don't like, look like are they doing the work or is it just like? Like their lips are just making contact. I think they just. I don't know. Because I, I feel didn't like watch the video. If you're doing the work, you're burnt. You're like you got a. You got your heart rate up and all that jazz. Like you're yeah. you're burning oxygen I quicker. Could, I could see that. I don't. <laughs> I, it says kiss. It doesn't say they made out. Yeah. Well, so I'm just kiss. like I would just like make contact. I think the obvious this. way to get the world record is to hire the two world record holders for the longest breath holding <laughs> two underwater <dudes>. and just <laughs> pay them to kiss each other That's underwater. Smart. I'm not. I mean, seriously though, it's <laughs> like. Two Navy SEALs that can hold their breath for 30 minutes. <laughs> like, listen, win. It's not no, gay if it's underwater. So? Not Navy SEALs. I mean... Most of the, the, the people who hold the, the, the record are free, are free divers. Yeah, uh, think, same thing. No. I know. They build there. <laughs> they build there. <different. laughs> build, build. So there you go. Don't kiss underwater for more than four minutes and six seconds. Why don't they get like different colors of SEALs? Why do they be like Navy blue? <laughs> I don't know why they call them Navy. Why, else are, they called why Navy? are they called Navy SEALs? What about the, is that a legit question? It's because they're water What's boys. the Navy mean? The Navy? Yeah, like, <laughs> that's a branch of the military. Yeah, but like, why, why is, is it, called it called the, the Navy? Navy? It's because it's blue. <laughs> like Army predates. Like water. Yeah, Army water, predates water's the U.S. Blue. Water is blue. So Navy like, is a blue color. So does, is, <laughs> Army predates the U.S. Does the word Navy predate the U.S. as a form of military? It's such a stupid joke, but I love this conversation. I so. Why is it called Navy? Okay. <laughs> That's first, a real question. First attested in English in, nearly, uh, in the early 14th century, the word Navy came from uh, the old French uh, Navi is a fleet of ships. Ah. From the Latin uh, Navigium, a vessel, a ship. Bark huh. boat, so it means ship, a boat. Oh, Dang French, tiny boats. French. Now you guys know. Croissant. 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 <laughs> Okie dokie. We are obviously not experts <clears throat> of the military or ships or, or French. We're not, we're, not people. we're not French. No, we are not. <laughs> Thankfully. So, but there is one thing we do know a thing or two about. Nothing. Women. <laughs> <laughs> wrong and wrong. <laughs> oh, you, you don't know nothing I about don't cameras. Know nothing. <laughs> You've never know heard nothing. that. I don't, know I, don't know no, I don't know nothing. What do we know about cameras? <laughs> yeah, we know some stuff about cameras. And so, uh, Andrew brought in some some cameras today. They're all film cameras, correct? Because you're st- let's, uh, no. What's uh? So here to out. explain, they're vintage. Uh, kinda. <laughs> um. <laughs> but <laughs> okay buddy <laughs> no uh, choking i have always been interested in film and well photography specifically i don't know i, I watched spider-man and read spider-man <laughs> comics as a little kid uh, okay. and i wanted to be a photographer when i was a little kid and ah. so my grandma gave me this old janky 35 <laughs> millimeter camera um there's just a real cheap one flat face no attachable detachable lenses or anything just just something basic and i never had any film for it or anything and i just kind of just sat in my room and i played with it you know uh fidgeted fidgeted with it (laughs) but um i've always really enjoyed cameras i always like 
and what they look like. I like, uh, I love the mechanics that go into the cameras. And um, recently, <clears throat> at uh, just going around to garage sales and thrift stores and all that, I have started picking up camera stuff. Both of these bags I have, I don't know if they're in the shot or not. They are. Yeah, both of these bags I have, I've, <laughs> they I, are. I, got, I got both of them in, um, I got one of them in a Goodwill, and then I got another one at a barn sale. Um, Dang. Nice. The, this one I got at a barn sale. This was like the first, uh, for those functioning you, good camera yeah, For those of you lis- listening, the, like one bag is like a normal camera bag, and the other is more like the size of it's a smaller a th- backpack. It's a 31 bag. Yeah, yeah. it's a... 31. 31. It's a brand. It's a 31. I forgot it's, about that. It's, it's a, a nice brand. Camera bag. It's interesting. It's pretty nice. It's got. It's gray and it has uh, pink stitching. Did you get it embroidered? I did not get it embroidered. It has embroidered in a nice uh, emerald green. A S M. Have you made an acronym for what like what that stands Isn't for? Isn't A S M like the listening thing? R. That's A S M R. You just draw an R on there. Oh yeah. A S M is an R. someone's initials. I don't know who. So smart. Andrew's sweet memories. <laughs> Dude, that's actually... Oh. Wow. Wow. So, uh, I'll start I'll start with this one. <laughs> it was either that or I'm curious, a bunch do you, of bleeps. Do you still have that uh, camera that your grandma gave you? I have it somewhere. I can't oh. find it. Oh, okay. how dare you. Grandma so, would be so... Do silent. you call her grandma or you call her Mima or some booba? I call her grandma. Booba. Or granny. Boob. Granny or grandma. <laughs> and my grandfather I call grandpa or... I guess we call him papa. Papa. Or, Oh, Papa. good old Papa. Midwest. I, I, Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> Midwest. Yeah. So, so we, we promise for those of you that are just listening and not watching, we will explain what yeah. we have in our... I'll give I'll, an audio description. Yes. Oh, yes. Things. We'll explain so, it. So first up, I have a... <laughs> Kimmer's in his hands right now. 35 black. millimeter uh, X370 Minolta film camera with a lens on it, a short lens. It's a lot of uh, F 1.7 <laughs> You can't say that It's it is a podcast a, I, I don't remember what you call this It's a yeah. <laughs> It's got no zoom to it But it's a Single focus Okay Yeah I we guess. got a Minolta a fixed length mm-hmm. Good looking It's fixed uh, length Yeah You know It's black prime, on silver Little prime mm-hmm. lens So you can't You can't zoom in and out with it No No Can't oh, zoom no. in and out you, But it but takes some focus You might have to look at it but Some great focus like shots Pass it around Show and tell uh, Yeah can yeah. I see it Go on Show Take and tell it. I want to see it Can I see it <laughs> Don't touch the lens With your dirty hands I touched Freaking the outer rim Man These <laughs> iPhone photographers man. What? They don't know how Do you not get for that No respect they make cloths for that. Lens touchers. Oh, nice! It's <laughs> Wait, a, just touch the rim. <laughs> it's a nifty oh, fifty. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. Look at that! It goes down to one point seven. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's like you have no appreciation for the audio listeners. Uh, Tristan mm. and I were adding in little effects in the background to try yeah. to help you. Yes. Black and silver. This is cool. Disrespect. I did. I said black and silver. I think I've Bright seen this lines. one before. It's got a leather, oh, yeah, yeah. a leather like texture. Would you like to see it, sir? I would love to see it. Actually, it. I am now it passing it left awesome to David. <laughs> right. David has awesome, it now. Uh, camera strap that's all oh. like. I want to call it floral, but Dude, that's it's cool. <laughs> it looks kind of like uh, like yeah. a native pattern. It's so, uh, it's cool. Yeah. Oh, look at you got all your rolls of film I got, in I got here. Rolls of you film. guys, I have. You yeah. guys, if you're not watching my, this, you're missing out. My mom used to keep my baby teeth in those things. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> same, yeah. yeah. Your little yeah, film they, capsules. It's, <laughs> that's such a weird thing to do, man. But, yeah, but, yeah. I have clean because your parents these are, these are old, dude. What are you? Some Kodaks. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna keep your kids' teeth? No, the tooth fairy picks them up. Yes, yeah. but let's just say theoretically, <laughs> the tooth fairy forgot a tooth. Yeah, would you keep it or throw it away? Where would it go? I uh, honestly, I think I'd probably like could have fell out of her bag. Mm-hmm. I do it, the same thing I do What's with that? my toenails. Oh, I just is that the throw them down box? the toilet. <laughs> Not the tooth box. That I just <laughs> passed to Cole a little uh, black pouch that has uh, micro and macro oh, uh, yeah. filters. Oh, that's really cool. Close up. That. Close, Close up, up number four. Why, yeah. number why would you use that? Why you want? Why would you? What would you do with it? Colored filters. Uh, you take those so you can get really job, nice Tristan. zoomed in shots of real, t- uh, real tight, uh, real tight, real uh, tight shots. I wanted to comment. I, I like on the the back of film cameras. They give you a little plate 
that oh i need to switch to my shot uh so <laughs> you could put the there's like a tab from like a roll of film that you could slide in from the top i think cat told us about this uh she might i'm going to attribute it to her because she talked know. about it before it's probably wrong and you're still but, she's like yeah. stop attributing these no, to me you can because then you would remember like what speed and like what type of film you're using and there's also like a little chart that lists like the angles and the uh the uh, iso that like goes with them which i think is really cool you can go oh, down nice. back and you know what cheat the, sheet yeah look, lets mm-hmm. you know how to set your settings on the camera that's cool yeah why don't you put a cheat sheet on my camera because yeah. i don't need it who uh pass it back to Cole. Photo. Yeah. yeah i was gonna say pass it back and to me we'll, and we'll I'll pass it around. Chuck it. do you want these do you want to see these just macro do rings or I, yeah i want to see the tooth box <sighs> that's not the tooth box the tooth box yeah, is the, 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 the caps. canisters no, those are i didn't mean to tooth, say that that loud tooth, uh, you put your tooth in those you can put your teeth in anything it's camera so, gear sink your teeth in it <laughs> so what is it about film cameras <laughs> what is it about film film cameras specifically that have piqued your interest can i touch these things the, or will i break it yeah you should touch the lens you can touch can it. i touch things like well if i will i will this like just take a photo don't force anything there's no film in it oh so if you want to open it up What's you up? can oh, dude, I, that's uh, so cool. in this camera i actually uh replaced the um and fixed the uh the the light um oh, i remember you talking about that what's it called the light uh the seal the light uh, seal yeah oh cool dude um racking focus for this is so cool because um it's, it's it's is this like all in body or is this in lens like i what's the guy that's the lens maybe the yeah. lens like the when you not not like the actual racking motion but like you're looking through it and they have like this knurled or uh kind of like hex oh. pattern inside the viewfinder yeah. and that way whenever it's in focus the the knurling is like invisible but whenever you're out of focus ah. it's like it becomes like really uh bubbly mm. or it, it becomes like very visually apparent that it's out of focus i okay. i don't know well, yeah, no, it's not that. It's, it's, not, um, it's, it's like, like a. Like, <laughs> I assume just. just <laughs> I, so, I'm, aperture. I believe it's <laughs> shutter speed. It's, it's, it's part of the actual camera. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's in frame. Oh, okay. Um, so it's in body. Gotcha. In body. But, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's yeah. really interesting. I think I played with this at your house, but uh, it's potential. I, I kind of forgot it had that feature. It's really neat. Yeah. I wish. I like how digital cameras work because, like, it just racks and like you have something to go by because you're just like, oh, it just looks in focus. But that's cool because you have something to compare it to. Yeah, um, right. Aside from just like the focus peaking lines, which aren't always the most accurate. Yeah. yeah. So to answer your question about why film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, what got you interested? One, the look of these film cameras is just, it's just iconic. Yeah. Especially uh, SLRs. And range finders are, do have that iconic little, you know, window that you're looking through but um they're the, just the look of them is iconic and i love the mechanical nature of them all you know you don't have to have any power for for set for 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 a lot of film cameras a lot of them are just mechanically driven right um this one is not this one is uh does have a what does it take? Does it's it have a proprietary battery or does it take it's like not a, a proprietary battery? I actually like a have a, a, or a pack of them somewhere. It's double somewhere A in here. It's not double A. It's uh Nine triple. Ball. It's either two <laughs> I've, got what the, just I've, got my, I've got it in my hand. <laughs> you ever look if you ever read the packages, <laughs> it's like either it's either a. two double of a. these uh <laughs> two fifty quadruples. You monkeys. <laughs> Either two of these 357s. Oh, button cells. Button cells. No. Or watch batteries. Yeah. yeah. I was going to make a joke. I was like trying to watch help batteries. Out, you know. but <laughs> it's like button cell sounds very uh, niche. So they look like buttons. To, yeah. No, I, I understand, but I'm uh, helping the audio. Everybody, throw uh, Iris. <laughs> the other battery uh, you can get. More, um, more Iris. Uh, LICB batteries. It looks like a box oh, of contacts. The old Lickbus. <laughs> Lickbus, and they are CR one dash. It's like a it's a very elongated box of 
contacts. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It does. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks <laughs> Might like. Might be full Tristan's birth right. control. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> For all <laughs> our listeners. Pee on it and find out. <laughs> what? Pee on it and find out. <laughs> like a I didn't say a pregnancy <laughs> test. That's it's a birth I, control. That's, that's, <laughs> went straight to the opposite. <laughs> I don't know how any of that works. I just had a kid. Well, in science, you need a control. <laughs> for, uh, <laughs> so, so on everything. <laughs> what? Let's keep talking about cameras. Okay. Do not I, pee on your started, camera so equipment. Wait, what, what was special about that one? Was that the first of your that collection that you started? or That what? one is not the first one. The first one is actually this Polaroid. Oh. This is a Polaroid Spectra. Oh, that looks familiar. Um, a Spectra SE, to be specific, for our audio listeners. The old it is Spectra. That's fancy. A solid matte black with a gray handle and viewfinder slash menu on the backside. It's like a little flat, yeah. flat guy. It's a little flat guy, raised up a little bit. And this is also a SLR. And What's it, SLR? SLR stands for... Uh, Single lens reflector. Okay. What's that important? I, I don't think. Check it. Is that correct? I'm going to ask Chat GPT. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. But well, essentially, what it means is you are looking directly through where you're taking your single photo lens from. reflex. I reflex. can't believe this that is not you were SLR. that close. That's amazing. I, I lied. Oh, he's. But, um,. Yeah. I always love that, that they're like, it's like the way that a Polaroid camera always is, it's like, it's a clamshell of some sort. Like the, yeah. the rest, like the lens pops out of the body with like all your like flash I and stuff. Wish. It's like a sci-fi I binocular. Wish. That's how they all were. That's but very cool. Unfortunately, they are not. I actually have another Polaroid that I can show you. Which I mean, the smart thing is, is like when you're not using the camera, like Defend the lens it, protected. is protected. Yeah. yeah. So I have oh, another Polaroid here, a One Step 600. Oh, that's a classic. So this is another classic. I'm missing Looks the like eye thingy. That the little goes, rubber piece. The little rubber inspired. piece. Inspired. But, um, Dude, that's awesome. I do have film in this one, and I can't take photos. Is that the one that's um, really dark? So, maybe, so this this one yeah. looks a little bit more like the current generation yeah. that they sell. That you know, can, yeah, you can they're s- trying to emulate it, right? Yeah. Yes. The top of it oh, flips open. That. It has a little oh. slot. Can you do that again? I didn't have you on camera. Flippy, flippy. Yeah. It's got a little slot in the front yeah. for uh, an attachable flash. Oh, that's cool. Because this Which one does not have a flash they, built they in. They still sell like new flash they that do. can attach to yeah, this, yeah. right? They do. They, you can you can buy them. They are not typically made by the Polaroid company. Oh. Um, they are typically third party. But okay. Yeah, this one does not have any of the uh, advancements. This is an old one. Um, I just love the old like fonts and everything on it. It's yeah. like mm-hmm. the what it says one step six hundred on the front of it, and it's no. all like that italicized Classic. like hey. It yeah. just we're cool and fancy. Yeah, look at us. Yeah, they try to Smart. have like the own like unique shape to them um, and be like very like oh in your face like we're this yeah. is this company and like we're so cool and <laughs> now everything's kind of like industrial Apple inspired yeah. almost. It has to be like super simple. <clears throat> the Polaroid font actually looks really modern. I know, like, right? The, the font oh, from that actually definitely. looks like it no, held history, up. It is, repeating itself. Yes, everything comes back around. It's a really cool camera. I like it. Um, most of the m- most of the modern uh, Polaroids don't have any moving parts. Yes, mm-hmm. correct. Which is uh, feels like a real shame because something that made Polaroid so cool was the transforming elements, like yeah. Yeah. the land cameras, the old ones just kind of popping open and then the their cannon portion just shooting out the uh, yeah. the X seventy the XR seventy. A Polaroid was like a flat piece and then it popped up and it was one of the first SLRs that they made that's, that's and it cool. was it was super cool that's why it, the Ronin's so cool because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it pops up Transformers it, it, is, it transforms and I will say that one's like, pretty unique they're so cool yeah. and that and is why it's true. I, I think it's all the moving parts that like you said yeah. that make yeah. it cool it, that's, that's why I, I love that. the Spectre so much because it really pops up. the The one step is cool, but it's a manual flip up of the top. Right. Mm. And it's I like it. I'm glad this one works, and I can shoot with it. Super cool. But do you know when these were like the manufacturer range date? Like for when these came out, because that one looks older. 
This one does? <laughs> that one yes. definitely the other, looks The other older. one looks like it's from like the 80s. The one step is older. Um, I don't... This one doesn't have the... The, uh, the one step the definitely sonar, looks like 80s. The, the other one looks like look, 90s. Uh, device yeah. on it. This one does. Feels the, like home. Uh, <laughs> if it does, it feels like home. We had... This so, portion right here so is we had sonar. a Polaroid. My parents did back in the day, and it was when I was a kid. It was um, it was like a dark green color with yellow accents, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like that that sh clamshell design, like that, like the uh, the Spectre. Um, and the difference was is like the front, like part of it was kind of like a it was like rounded, and that whole piece mm -hmm. would like flip up, yep. and it was on a hinge. Yeah. And I can remember being like, "Oh, it's so cool because you can take a picture and it just prints it right out." That's more like the one step. I know, it's, I know what you're yes. talking about. Yes, I'll have to try to, um, I'll have to try to figure out what model uh, that is. You just jogged my memory. Yeah, hmm. no. The unfortunate thing about the Spectres is that they no longer make the film for these. Uh, this was a wide format of film, as gotcha. you can see from the size of it. It's like a. You, you, it shoots like a four by five. I want to say. I was gonna say yeah, floppy disk. Yeah, it's, a floppy disk. It's, it's, it's a really cool. Flappy. It's a really cool format, but it just uh, unfortunate that they had issues with it and they weren't ever able to get it really to work right. Um, now, I don't know. To, I really want to salvage this camera and make it be able to shoot and so i'm really wanting to modify it to be able to fit the 600 line film because they still make the 600 yeah. film do you haven't seen it online anywhere if somebody's offloading some film for these or no no gotcha. well, i mean you can try to find some some specter film but it's going to be expensive and it's going uh, to true. be expired yeah. and i don't oh, have I a problem expired. shooting expired film but it's you know it's, you don't know you don't you don't know if it'll even produce anything right oh um, that's a that's a prompt for uh stable diffusion expired film photography yeah. <laughs> it's like what does that look like i want to yeah. know and and you know that's it's it's expired film photography is a really cool thing when you can get it to work yeah but that'd be sick the, well, yeah. if you if you're not shooting film that will actually print then you're just wasting time well it makes me think of uh what adam trable does with his uh oh what is it called when you know, it makes it all melty and the gooey. soup the yep. yeah film soup there you go i wonder if a uh, expired film would be a good that's candidate what i was thinking because you're like it's uh you're adding a bunch of different chemicals to the process to like change the the reaction on as the film's developing so it'd yeah. be i assume expired i don't know maybe it's like expired vitamins where it just doesn't really do anything yeah <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it's like expired chicken where it's like it gets real crazy. What? It gets real weird. <laughs> it gets real smells bad. It might be able um, to kill you. More like real dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. uh, also it might be like it's so like, rare for it to work you wouldn't want to film soup it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah I have no idea. I just want to see what it looked like. It'd yeah. be cool to see what it looks like but uh, if you want to buy me some expired Polaroid f Sepector film I'll I'll definitely let you use the camera. The, the, mm. one of the, oh, before yes. I forget, one of the cool things about this one, because of the way it's designed, it has a timer uh, for a timer shot on it. Oh, nice. So you can take a timed shot, and it doesn't print the photo right away. Smart. And so you can close the camera back up, turn the time setting off, open it back up oh. and shoot the same photo again. You can shoot the same, the, sh the same piece of film and you can do a double exposure with these cameras. Oh, interesting. I, that is not, I don't think that's a that's possibility cool. with any of the other uh, Polaroids. That's awesome. But hmm. I wouldn't know because I don't have a nice new Polaroid. The early days whatever. of HDR. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i just i thought that was cool and that's another no, that reason cool. why i really would love to get that to work because being able to take a double exposure mm. would be yeah, cool that'd just be fun to try and see that. what it looks like just have it and have it pop out I'd make right me, there make you fight yourself like one on each side <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here i got two more cameras well I, show I me I what you're working with more. Tell me what you got. Right now, he's oh, we can't a bag. Yeah. I've only got two more cameras here. Okay. Now he's got a camera right. in his hand. <clears throat> so I have another Minolta here. <laughs> and this one is special because it's broken. Oh, it looks a bit newer. It is a bit newer. It uses uh, a special type of film called APS. I oh. don't remember what that stands for. ChatGPT. But... <laughs> 
the cool thing about Dial this film up, and these cameras I, is that you were able to change your format on a film camera what size photo you're shooting oh okay so it has a panorama shot which is in these cameras was just a really wide shot. I don't know the dimensions Advanced on it. Advanced photo, photo system. system. <gasps> yeah. Chat GPT got it. Dang. <laughs> and then there's a, <laughs> oh my there's gosh. a high quality. It bothers Tristan. And then a classic idea. setting. And they're all different for, uh, so, formats. Well, that's cool. Film. And it's then cool APS-C t- uh, sensors for digital is oh. advanced photo system type C. Type C. We huh. love Type C around That's here. That's so funny. We do. So they've actually like carried over yeah. something like legacy mm-hmm. into more digital cameras because they still That's use and manufacture yeah. APS-C sensors. So, what do you like about this camera? This camera I like because... Uh... And now a quick break to hear from our sponsors. Coffee House 5. With locations in Franklin and Greenwood and a brand new third location in Bargersville, Coffee House 5 is Johnson County's premier independent coffee shop to relax, study, or meet friends around a great coffee and great food Monday through Saturday. Whether it's a handcrafted espresso or a single origin pour over, you'll enjoy the freshest, smoothest coffee possible, roasted in-house at their Franklin location using a unique airbed roasting process. And don't forget to pair your coffee with a ham and cheddar scone, biscuits and gravy made with their award-winning Parmesan chive biscuit, or any of their other pastries and sandwiches prepared in their Franklin kitchen using family recipes in a style they call Midwest comfort food. As if that is not enough to get your attention, Coffee House 5 is a four-benefit coffee house. All profits are invested in building a stronger community through their support of local mental health services, which you can read more about on their website, coffeehouse5.com. So the next time you're in Franklin, Greenwood, or Bargersville, stop by Coffee House 5. Uh, well, because it was APS. Yeah. Um, it's got this fun little dial on the side. The, uh, the viewfinder is a little extended off the back of the camera. And it's just cool looking. Um, mm. Yeah, this definitely resembles more of like a... S- Closer to like a modern like nineties, early two thousands. Yeah. Yes, yeah. point and shoot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that is the era of like rapid expanding technology. Yes. Um we grew out of APS film ridiculously fast. Oh. They APS came out Darn after thirty five, of course, <laughs> but um it didn't it just didn't <sighs> stick. It's the and the classic thirty five mil stays around. Yep. It's you, you can't beat it. It's the king of film right now um, when it comes to shooting photography, not guns. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> we go on so, shoots all the time. So, that, so this was, time. That, that's shooting why I wanted to bring this because this is houses. a little bit of history in film and it is just a relic of that uh, what brand is rapid it? expanding technology. Minolta. Okay. It is a Minolta camera. It's a Minolta uh, Veda Vegas. <laughs> Vectus 40. Vectus. Vectus, that's what it Did is. Did you guys see the, the screen on the stylist. back of it? <laughs> the little, yeah, the little, it's not, it's not oh, man. an actual screen. <laughs> it just, yeah. I think it, it's, it's an indicator for the auto. That's funny. Yeah, portrait and all that. Little readout for you. Teeny yeah. tiny. And then the last camera I have is another Minolta. Nice. It is a That looks like yellow, an underwater camera. I know, right? Yellow and black Weathermatic Dual 35. Oh. And so th- with this camera, I believe it is waterproof, but it is designed Let's test for it. some <laughs> rough... <laughs> Get down a bucket of water. It's designed for rough uh, rough weather and all that, so I'm, I'm sure it's waterproof so you can I shoot really out like in the rain and whatnot. The design of that body. Oh, yeah. It's, I, it's, it's really cool. It's really chunky. Yeah. It's kind of heavy. Um, Rugged It looking. is a, yeah. you know, a viewfinder or a range finder with the... Uh, little window at, above the uh, actual lens so you're not looking through the uh, the lens where you're shooting but i don't have any batteries in this one there is film in this but i'll pass this around oh cool yeah i want to see this so again this one represents uh, uh uh whatever it looks like a point and shoot as well but it's definitely like way more bulky and what you would expect something rugged to look like it's mm-hmm. got a lot of like rubber black material but the rest of it's yellow yeah, yeah it's vibrant it says mm-hmm. AF autofocus. I would say yeah. very reminiscent of like the I early like it. weathermatic. Uh, the, that is the, the most advanced film camera I have that works. Oh. Just because it's the weather it, because it's the weather all it, it's 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 autofocus. 
Um, Reminds me of like the mid two thousands, like the, uh, yeah, like the it says, rugged cell phone style. It says underwater close up on yeah. top of it. Underwater. Oh. Take your underwater close up. So I have seen this one before, dude. I've always wanted to get a uh, like an underwater rig, Japan. you know, for like an SL or DSLR or whatever. You I think that would be it in cool. A bag. That'd be super cool. I mean, oh, yeah. there's nowhere Definitely. to really use it here, but <laughs> there's water outside. There's water everywhere, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in my sink. Those enclosures are if expensive. You, if you, you can, I have seen people take cameras. They get one of those really big, clear plastic bins, and then they use the bin to <laughs> the, they put the bin in the water, and they put the camera in yes. the bin. Yes. And yeah. so they so they have someone holding the bin, and then someone down in there holding the camera and shooting like yeah, well, that. Well, it's, it's cool. Sketchy. It's sketchy as hell. It's like you just like but, let out just the wrong amount of air, and it's like. Your camera is now underwater. How do you, how do you focus? That would scare me so much. How do you focus? <laughs> there's no there's no batteries it's, in that. It's, it's auto autofocus. Auto so focus. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, AF means AF. autofocus. Oh, and the button, button is even water protected, so it's yeah. like it's it's like a rubber button instead yeah. of like the normal plastic shutter. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. it's a, it's really cool. Uh, I I I want to get the ba some batteries wow. for it and actually shoot it because there is a little bit of film left in there so i want to go take it out shoot it and uh is it your film go get it no it's not oh so you don't know what the other pictures are that's on there nope. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome so can you open it or is it locked uh you can't open that's where the batteries go you can't open it uh and it's you just need a coin oh it's it looks like the like the recess lock style yeah because no, everybody, everybody, everybody had coins in their pocket at that yeah. point dude coin and hop on well, I can open with my cell phone, but that, that is, that's my last <laughs> film camera, camera and I have one more. It's my, it's a, it's my digital. Oh, we got it's us a, a Kodak. Shoot, Kodak. Is that the first Kodak of the bunch? It's the first Kodak of the bunch. Wow. But, uh, it's yeah. Like Kodak, go one, bye bye. See you, Kodak. A little is the double A powered, uh, seven mil, uh, megapixel yes, camera. Seven. So many. So many. How they put seven in there? What does it take in SD? Yeah, SD. Compact flash. Oh. Is it trying? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It flashed uh, me. It was so it, it's fast. A, it's, a two, it's a two, it's a, it's a two uh, gigabyte max. Wow. Two gigabyte max. Max. Hey. I actually couldn't find any two gigabyte Dude, this is uh, fantastic. SD cards. In the photos it takes are actually pretty great. Is mine uh, still over in the, the room? Well, I have one of those over in our room. For those of you who, I don't know. again, are listening, it's a Kodak EasyShare C713. Yeah, I don't even go check if you want. Again, oh. smaller uh, point and shoot. Yeah. Looks like we got us a uh, autofocus three-time optical, a spheric lens, 36 yeah. millimeter to 108 equivalent. Yeah, look at Tristan's that. Tristan's going to check to see if he has a camera similar here in the office. Oh, oh look at that. Uh, Cole Zoom. has a Minolta in the office we could check I out. I do. I have yeah. a film Minolta in the office. Tristan, yeah. bring out the Minolta. So this thing. Oh, my uh, gosh. It's, it's, it's just really fun and David, cool. I'm, I'm going to take this picture of you and look at, the, look at what it does to the lights. Oh, no. It went away with the flash. Uh, uh, let me see if I can figure out how to turn the flash off. Oh, look at this. It's right up here. Flash. Yeah. It's right up here. It's, top. it's 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 a lot of fun to oh, just run itself. around and shoot and play with. There Isn't is that a, funny man that that's just like there's a button on there to oh, turn the flash off. There we go. Okay, I want you to see what it's doing to the lights. It's getting so streakies. <laughs> streakies. Oh, it only does it through the viewfinder. Oh, okay. So Here. it's just so you like there's, there's, refresh no, there's rate no viewfinder. Well, sorry, well, just, uh, but did you sorry, find on the screen? Ulta? No, that's okay. That's all right, buddy. I'll show you the Minolta afterwards. It's very oh, similar God. to the first first camera, but it's like I don't know. It's way more like eighties esque looking. Mm -hmm. Like you know, it's got a lot of like blue lines and black, and I don't know. It just it definitely gives off those vibes. Yeah. So what? like, point it at Tristan and look at the like what the like see what it does with oh. it. It's it's really it's really weird It'd be cool to see to how it, it like that. actually processes. I wish it would oh, take that, photos it must how be it's the, processing. Uh, but the progressive yeah, scan. it's the screen because it, it stays. Mm. Uh, it, it does this uh, way. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. it's the screen on it itself that's making the weird lines. Would you like to oh, see? Yeah. I you know I still. I still totally dig the idea of the point and shoot. Like I understand mm -hmm, that like mm -hmm. phones are supposed to replace that, but it's like it's not the same. It's not the same. Like mm, not this, at all. Uh, like I would still consider. Like I've talked about getting my wife a point and shoot, so that like she has a way to take some decent photos that's not with her phone. So, 
this is Here, I a got you, buddy. Co- yeah, it's a Kodak Telectra. Oh, I ah. have a Kodak uh, <laughs> 10 millimeter camera like this. Really? Yeah, it's not like this one, but I, I should have brought it. I should have brought it. I actually have a flash for it too. I feel like Does a this one spy have a flash when you use it. It's, it's real, real thin. It, it's almost pocketable. I bet you could put it in a pocket I'm, if you oh. had cargo pants in the 90s. <laughs> Can we? Uh, this one does not have Dale. a flash, but this can, is cool. Can we actually take the? Can we take pictures off of this? Is it yeah. internal can we storage? Take the, no. the, can uh, we take the thumbnail photo for this episode with it? That'd be sick if we oh. get the thumbnail photo for oh, this episode. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah, we can give it a shot. <laughs> but I'm just curious. If yeah, I want to see what it looks like first. What I was saying was, it has. Oh, it takes an SD. It takes an SD card. However, yeah. I couldn't find any two gigabyte SD cards. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. What do you have in there? So I have a two gigabyte micro micro SD card in an yeah. adapter. Hey, That's man, awesome. it works. <laughs> How big is the uh, micro? The micro is two gigabytes. Okay. Uh, the max. There you go. It'll there take. You go. But but I, yeah, we could take a uh, should have thrown with this five twelve in there, man. Would have been five twelve meg. <laughs> Live on so the many pictures. Yeah, yeah. So many pictures. I could take I could take a good amount of photos even with this. I uh, guarantee it. I, I I'm interested to pull those photos off and just like oh, look yeah. at the data and yeah. stuff. Seven meg. I got to reset the date. Seven a whole seven man. Oh, shoot. Which, the, the which date, that's man. the funny thing. I mean, so again, a lot. It, it all has to do with like sensors because if you think like you know what I mean, like our phones are twelve and. I mean, my camera's a 24, but I know, right? It's such a, a full frame. It's so big. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. But I, I really do dig this. Like, mm-hmm. again, the point and shoot style. So yeah. when Makes I was at one. my uh, my first job at, at uh, Carson's, which is like a Coles like or whatever, they had cameras, like point and shoots like that yeah. still for oh, sale I'll another one. I'll get in yeah. 2013 or so. But they were still selling those in, at that year. And they had a bunch of them. They were like on sale for like, like they're regular like 200 or whatever but they were marked down like 30 bucks a piece yeah so i bought like 10 of them and then i started selling them all online for like 50 to 60 bucks each or whatever and i think i still have one that i couldn't sell and that was the one i was looking for and it's somewhere at my house uh Um, but it used to be at the office and cole probably told me to take it home (laughs) oh my gosh (laughs) i I probably told him oh man it was probably that cole probably cole not let me have just trying to keep things clean around leaving trash in the office dude so it's crazy so 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 just just passed okay (laughs) <laughs> hey, how about you guys stop talking over each other? Wow. <laughs> so, it out. anyways, I've got to so let he just get... <laughs> <laughs> do it, you. Like, I'll like, let you do it. I'll let you do it. Oh, he's taking the... He's, so I've got uh, I've got a lens in my hand here. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a 28 millimeter. Okay. Uh, it looks like it get, stops down to f2.8. What I love about okay. this lens is that when you change your f stop, it's all like click based. Oh yeah, so Chunky. you just like it's click. tactile. I you just, can feel oh, it. Yes. I love it. I love those mechanics. Yeah, that's beautiful, and you know, oh, so you know what it's doing for cinema. You can Here you go, buddy. You, people pay the, those are like vintage lenses. You'll pay to get a vintage lens declicked, is what it's called. Wow. So they will go in and they'll remove Why? all those mechanics on the inside that make the actual clicking sound. So for cinema, you can have a silent lens that has vintage appearance like in quality because it's like it's almost like a filter people want to use vintage lenses for the style that they have which is why like the helio i think it's called the helio lens like it's like an old i believe 50 millimeter lens is so popular even though it's like from the 70s or something like that this is a this so i have another lens in my hand now this is a uh, 70 to 210 yeah, 70 to 210 uh, f4.5. And what I love about these older style lenses is that like when you go to zoom, you just like pull, you yeah. pull on the ring. Yeah. Instead of twisting it, you pull on it to extend out. It's just yeah. very satisfying. And then, it's very smooth they and satisfying. They what they were doing. And ag- again, with the, the clicking on the, uh, the, on the change, aperture. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. David, would you like to check this guy out? Uh, I think I've seen that one before. You've seen them both. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, seen that one. Tristan, would you yeah. like to check uh, it out? I've also handled it. We've all handled the lenses. Okay. Yeah. But nice. I, I like them. These They're are cool. Really cool. I like it. I like it. I just like, the, I definitely like the click. And it. that's the thing like on, I don't know, let's just use my 50 mil prime as an example. You were just talking about how smooth it is. Well, yes, and but that's the thing is like you can, because it's all digital, you can change the dial to do different things. 
and it's like yeah. you can use it for aperture or iso or whatever but the thing is, is like if you use it for aperture right you're not there's not that click stop where you can yeah. tell like oh i've reached the next number it just kind of glides its way through which it just kind of defeats the point of can't you change that with well, servos uh well your ronin does it on the little oh. spinny knob yeah uh, so the, on yeah. the handles of the ronin there's like two little thumb wheels that you can spin mm-hmm. and depending on the mode and the setting you're in yeah. it actually can l- electrically lock it to invisible stops <laughs> magnets and, but it can turn it off it's probably work. magnets right yeah it's electromagnets and Guaranteed. like you can turn it off and it becomes perfectly smooth like it doesn't exist and i feel like they should introduce that more yeah so the, I mean, ne- the problem is glass is already so expensive you know it's like if they were going to mm. put that into it to make it feel like that i mean it's super cool but it's like yeah. you know the wide angle lens was already like fourteen hundred dollars. Well, the nice like, thing is like the cost of electro electromagnets isn't like insane because it's usually just bundled of a, a, a wrap of copper and a magnet, and then you're putting uh, through an electric signal that uh, puts off a radius of, of yeah. energy. Because uh, your cousin uh, Dane has actually made uh, a, a Tesla coil before, which is oh, that's cool. Similar, <laughs> similar in in practice in terms of uh, of the, how to manufacture it with just doing tightly wrapped copper. Yeah, but I mean, th- he's very cool. Yeah. I, I've used a couple tool, or I don't know what I, don't, I couldn't tell you exactly what it is, but it's like I've I've definitely whether it's the Ronin or something else, I've definitely felt that feeling before. It'd be really nice if they did that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, similar to like haptic feedbacks and stuff and, and <clears throat> keyboards. It's all very similar. So do you uh, pulse of you energy. load film up in these guys and you go out and shoot some stuff? Hold on, he's <laughs> he's drinking water he, he's, right he's now. He's ripping a <laughs> right now. My, it sounded <laughs> like it. Yeah, he's, playing, he's going bowling. <laughs> No, uh, I actually haven't gone shooting just yet, <clears throat> and uh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll find, out. We'll we find out later. We can't say <laughs> on the podcast. Oh my gosh! You telling me we can't say? <laughs> 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 the name's Bong, James Bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just a audio <laughs> cue to. So I know to go. Go, yeah. So just in case I <laughs> it up. <laughs> okay, no, no, we're not starting anything. <sighs> It'll be all so bleepy. Shut I the find, front door. I find that very interesting. Christmas. So you just you're just kind of collecting camera bodies. So, but you're not going out and shooting. I just What's have. The point? I, have it, I just haven't yet. I Why want not? to. Um, I, What's stopping you, man? Tell us. <laughs> Live your dream. Don't stop. Don't hesitate. Maybe you you want to be. Yeah. See the like, change. I know I want to shoot. I, get, I make time Maybe for shooting. Team. Yeah. Hit that bleeper. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hit the, <laughs> the bleeper. <laughs> <laughs> just, I like it right over the F sound yeah. of it. So just. <laughs> I said F, stop. <laughs> Uh, no, um, it's uh, one. I had to do the repairs on the the, uh, the Minolta, and yeah. once now now I can I can I can go shoot right now. Um, but going to go shoot some bricks. I sure hey, bricks are shoot some bricks I, after this. Dang it! Should, I don't sh- have batteries for my flash, but it's probably not chronicle yeah. that. <laughs> isn't Chronicle a movie? No, nope. it is a movie, yeah. and it's awesome. The Chronicles movie. of Narnia, phenomenal movie. Chronicles of Narnia isn't is the also a homeschooler. However, a homeschooler would reference. That. Hey, Chronicles of Narnia is awesome. It is phenomenal. Read Pretty them all. Good, good, good books. I Seriously. watched them all good too, movies. man. They didn't make all of them into movies. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm hearing excuses. Excuses, yeah. yeah. That's exactly what they Get are. Get out like. there and shoot, man. Yep. I need to. Life's passing you I was you actually going to ask. I was hoping Kat was going to be here so ah. I could ask her to, uh, if uh, she'd let, uh, if she would uh, show me how she uh, processes film in yeah. the Red Room. Oh, I for sure. This for calls sure. for another so, episode now that we have yeah. two, uh, two if, intros to But we're it. not going to change the camera angle. She's going to sit on the middle of the couch, so yeah. every angle Just is only half. half of her. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, yeah, no, I, I was hoping that I'd, I'll, I'll, next time I see her, I'll have to talk to her about it and be like, hey, I know you got a Red Room going. Yeah. 
if I if I shoot film, will you uh, not only show me how to <laughs> process it, <laughs> but will you process my film instead of me having to send it off? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I get that for sure. I brought in a uh, one of the disposable film cameras my wife found, and Ooh. I was like, "Hey, could you uh, could you develop this?" And she was like, "Sure." She got it really excited. So what was on it? Uh, doesn't know. <laughs> Don't know. You know. Don't it's not know. Developed. Yeah. You know what the what the fun thing Are you is? Afraid? is Are you I actually worried? have some old film here that's probably expired, but we'll see. But I also have new film. New film because they're still making it. Because they still make it. Yeah. So this is some uh, Fuji Film 400 ISO, and for those of you who don't know what ISO is, it is the. Uh, speed at which the sensitivity at which the film absorbs light yes and you had to have the film that was set yeah. i learned this with cat and mm -hmm. i was like wait a second so you had to change your film if you want a different iso yep, yep. which is so, crazy because our digital cameras you just do not make just change changing that which iso a, all the time it's just a cool thing yeah. because i mean you don't have that flexibility with film you kind of just have to make it work with film yeah, yeah. sounds That's, awesome i forgot these are all words <laughs> that we use now even though they don't mean yeah. what they meant correct <laughs> they're just a button oh, on your camera now because that's what kind of magic yeah they like that's a little word that we used to use let's use so, it again here i'm gonna just oh, oh you're losing your buttons, losing your buttons. he's <laughs> dropping batteries he's he's dropping his watch batteries <laughs> did not think you're gonna say watch batteries <laughs> <What>? <laughs> guys <laughs> my marbles guys oh. so. i mean it's 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 uh i completely respect this whole you know part of the history of photography and uh do you i do <laughs> she's making it I up i do i've kind of said like care don't. i do but it's it's still one of those things where i just don't have a lot of desire to to get into it the point i need to understand it no. i need to understand it because i think that that's part of like you know i mean that's understanding your craft is is a lot of also understanding how it got to where it is and why the things are called what they are and what it used to mean and all that sort of stuff. And it's, I do find it very interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I really love being able to take that photo and have all that data. <laughs> are and you just, whipping the film? He's got to yeah. make sure it's good. He has to sniff it. <laughs> got to sniff it's just it. special. It's just like one of those special things. And I get it. It's a nostalgic you like special. Take the, you take the photo and you meet, if depending on but the type of film, like you have the immediate, like the Instagram polar, Polaroid style. <gasps> so you immediately have yeah. what you took. And it's like, that's the memory as it is. But it's like, I shoot and I forget to edit it. And then it sits yeah. on a hard drive forever and I never look at it again. But it's like, do you have any desire to like shoot an actual like something on film like video no no see i don't but here's <laughs> here's my only issue with film like if I just you actually see you had in the little to, room with a little cutter, cutter and yeah. just like splicing stuff together and you're like ah it's I, like making star wars <laughs> making, i'm making star appeal. wars in my basement I, I like the idea the of the instant polaroid style of film but i don't like the idea of I shoot stuff and then whatever's on it, you have to go to Walmart because I'm not making a dark room. It's so like you have to take mm -hmm. it to Walmart and they're going to see whatever you shot. And I don't like that idea. But I don't, that was how I, it was. I know. So but whatever. No, you my, I get it. Shot. There was, I, there were plenty well, of times I, I, <laughs> my brother and I'd get a hold of the camera, like one of the little, you know, the, the disposables. Cause we oh, had, the, 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 we had them all the time growing yeah, up. Yeah, Cause you had to wind it up to the next shot. Yeah. And yeah. you know, you'd be like, Oh, it's funny and take pictures. And I'm not saying anything was like, uh, inappropriate by any means. Other, you know, you might've been like, you know, oh, you might be a little, a little embarrassed by. Yeah. It's like, Oh, my brother mooned me. So I took a picture of it. Exactly. We thought it was funny, but then like you forgot that you're parents have to take it to to meyer to get you know yeah. developed and then your your pictures are sitting in a bin in public <laughs> like, yeah and it has to show like a little like display pictures <laughs> that's right i forgot of, about uh, like that. what was in it the summary like <laughs> yeah but that's the thing is like if you work there you don't know whose <laughs> butt that is <laughs> that's true so it's like your parents are getting CPS from the called butt. on them because or not cps but like that didn't yeah, happen yeah. in the 90s well not in the 90s but it would now <laughs> that's why like you asked man. me if i would shoot it now it's like no <laughs> whatever you shoot is going out there man yep but that's like people who put stuff you know all their life on social media 
I think, that is the equivalent to the old school mm. <laughs> dark room at the grocery store. Yeah. Well, I was Social over, media. <laughs> I was over at uh, Andrew's house two, three weeks ago, maybe, and we watched a video from the YouTube channel Dank Pods. <laughs> yes. And uh, I think I've shown it to Tristan, the channel. Uh, but he did a whole video. Ooh, taking a picture. Did it work? It's not turning on. Oh, no. Oh, did, did we just witness a death? Do you want me to get mine? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's on right now. Hey, oh, whatever. No, I'm good. No. And uh, he did a video about like old Polaroid Polaroid cameras. And like he's a little bit older than I think you, Cole. He might be like... <laughs> Really what are you old. trying to say? Uh, I, he's so a, old. He, oh, man. I think he's like a three before he's his more age. Of a boomer than you. Uh, I'm not like a boomer <laughs> in any respect. <laughs> I don't understand why I, I keep love getting... calling millennial boomers. It's not nice. It's funny. Hmm. And uh, he not was saying close. how it was like really, really uh, like a cherishing moment to like have photos of like things because like you would have to go through this whole process of like taking it to the place and getting it processed and you have no idea if you even took a good photo in the first place yep. and you had to spend all this money to get developed and you get it back and then boom you might have a good photo blurry butt picture a blurry <laughs> butt picture and like you know <laughs> and so that made the good pictures even better and like even more rare and like appreciable i mean i get that right yeah. i mean it's just like anything it's like if you can take a thousand pictures of something mm. it's i mean it's like i know that i can go and shoot and it doesn't matter where i shoot 10 or 60,000 it doesn't matter yeah. you know it's like i i can make <laughs> as many as i want it doesn't matter i'll put it on the yeah. cloud i'll put it somewhere yeah and like nowadays like I he, get it. he in the video he's like now like you open up your f camera rolls like oops you accidentally took 10 pictures inside your pocket and like nobody gives a crap about like <laughs> what pictures they have yeah. yeah which i get you know it takes away from from the overall importance of a picture yeah i mean it was like i'm sure back okay. in the day when photography was in its infancy like big time oh, you yeah. know it's like you know oh somebody smiled now we have to take it again and they're like give me 30 minutes <laughs> we were just standing 30 <laughs> minutes facing the sun we're gonna do it again <laughs> yeah now i gotta reload everything and yep oh is it gonna work are you taking pictures oh, oh it sounds oh, like a picture oh we took a picture on the podcast Dang. with the minolta i minolta you've, can. you've talked me into it there what? you can get 110 film for Talk 22 dollars oh for that for, for my camera i didn't i've never even looked into it look at that and Look it's at like you. Almost pocket size. Dude, almost pocket size. You can size. take some pictures in your free time. Weigh my backpack even more. It's <laughs> <laughs> a three pack. Is it a three pack of? Is, so far away. Is dude. a pack of film? How many? Sh you can only take two shots. How many shots? Do you, Twenty-four exposures. Is that the number of shots? Let's see if any of those turn out. Right. <laughs> that would be. That would be the yeah. number of shots. Yeah. Is yeah. an exposure a shot? Okay. <laughs> and it's a three pack, so you're getting like seventy five photos dual. for twenty two dollars. Just hoping at this point to make sure. That's a good hope yeah, that it's see, a good. This photo. is the anticipation of getting your photos. Ooh. You're reliving it. Yeah, I can't wait to see yeah. it. So, I don't know. How you many know, photos do you have left on that roll? Do you know? Does it tell you? It's got a little counter here little on counter. the side. Nice. So uh, I've apparently taken four photos. Four okay. photos. What's your max on that roll? Just take it off your phone. I'm learning about film. You can do it later. Yeah. I forget. Pay attention. That's uh, not how it works. <laughs> it is how it works. Oh, no. You have a wealth of information about cameras and film right here? I'll just chat GBC. Something. Yeah, they know everything about everything. photography. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> three rolls Dude. of 36 exposures. 35 mil. So is that 36 color prints. photos? I 36, 36 exposures is 36 uh, pictures. That gave, learning. that gave me an idea. We should just start doing like this expert against chat GPT. Oh, these yeah. Expert. Well, like, I'm we'll, not an we'll, expert. We'll, so. yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, we could ask it welding questions. You could ask it welding questions, oh, and I probably know the answer. That's but, true. Yeah, that's a bit we that's could do. That's boring. Yeah, well, is it? We're not a welding podcast. What else do you know a wealth of knowledge about? Like, what would be another thing that you could kind of be, like, tested on? Anime. <sighs> no, I can't be tested on anime. D&D. Uh, D&D. &D. D &D. Which is Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons yeah. and Daddies. <laughs> 
One of these Daddy times, Dungeons. I'm gonna walk <laughs> in here. When I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my, I'm like gonna bring it. all my books in. I'll bring all my dice. Yeah, and it'll just be like, all right, the podcast is now us just playing Dungeons and Dragons and yeah. talking about storytelling. Yeah. I actually would love to I mean, do a podcast on as the a start, a one, on the spot. a one play, or what do they call them? A one shot, one shot, one shot. What it's just a forty-five. A one-hour podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need the extra fifteen minutes, guys. I need it. Yeah. Dude, it'd be fun. It'd be mm. fun, even if we played with like less <gasps> dice to like speed it up or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know. No, yeah. I actually, I've never played. Just got. I know a, that's why I wanted. I got another game <laughs> that's uh, another tabletop role-playing game that's uh, called Call of Cthulhu, Ooh. and it runs off of a com- a different a different uh, a different. <sighs> um, set I, I guess a set of die you uh, mainly are just using a d100 essentially a hundred pe- like a dice with a hundred sides a hundred side yeah oh my gosh dude yeah. I want to see a die with a hundred sides I mean, it's, <laughs> they're pretty cool they're pretty cool they're just like a big ball my, uh, it's like my a golf ball almost oh it's yeah okay I yeah. figured it was or like I don't have a I don't have an actual one hundred sided die on a golf ball. I have a, a <laughs> I have I have you two you have to use a magnifying glass to I have see two what's dice it. that are um I don't they have a specific name but they're called percentile die. They're 10 they're they're two dice that have 10 sides each and one is the 10 10th place and then one's the the one's place. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. But it's only 9 to 9. Uh, it's well. 1 to 100. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, I was thinking <laughs> like you put 1 to 9. I forgot about uh, the number 0. <laughs> <laughs> who's a who's a well, math so magician now? To, I'm not a math magician. Not a math you're, magician. You're throwing a lot of shade not. to my friend and over here. On, <laughs> on, a, on, on a single <laughs> dice, it's one to zero. One. To, so one through nine and a zero. It's a ten sided oh, dice. One on side's the, just blank. And then on the and on the tens <laughs> place, it's double uh, double zeros and then ten through ninety. And okay, so okay, okay. The way it, this is yeah. fascinating. It's fascinating. My, uh, <laughs> my neighbor's Wi-Fi is, is called Cthulhu, which I thought was fun. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Did you name yours? It's it's, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, did you name your did, Wi-Fi? Yeah, my Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is called Wi-Fi. Comcast Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, you changed it. No, it's still Comcast Sucks. Uh, did oh, I change the password? Yeah, reasons, yeah. Don't say that. Comcast doesn't, doesn't actually it. suck. <laughs> Just uh, so you know, it does. It does. It does. They all it suck. does. It's evil, dude. Okay. Comcast so is cool. literally a monopoly. Yeah. It's, it's bad disgusting. service. It is yeah. disgusting. You can get four gigabit internet with AT and T now. <laughs> it's what's, insane. What's your Wi Fi called? Tao. Taco Bell. And now a quick break to hear from our sponsors, Passion for Acting Theater Company. Passion for Acting Theater Company has a passion for bringing excellent and entertaining live theater to audiences in Bartholomew County. Passion for Acting Theater Company, created in 2018, performs dinner theater productions at the terrific and eclectic Willow Leaves of Hope on the Square in Hope, Indiana. Their first production, The Miracle Worker, was a huge success and received great reviews from audience members. Since then, Passion for Acting Theater Company has performed 10 shows, ranging from comedies like The Kitchen Witches and The Odd Couple, to drama and suspense like their original murder mystery, Angel Street, to classic children's literature like The Secret Garden and Anne of Green Gables. Their next show will be Kalamazoo, a comedy about what happens when older folks try to get into the online dating scene. Kalamazoo will be performed at Willow Leaves of Hope in February, just in time for a Valentine's Day or to laugh the winter blues away. Enjoy a delicious dinner and a great night of entertainment at Willow Leaves of Hope. Phone number is 812-341-7251. Call now to make reservations for this laugh out loud comedy. What's your Wi-Fi called? Tao. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. What's yours, David? Uh, cool. You've never come by our Wi-Fi. house. Not the old Dobdo. 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 What My, about your Wi-Fi? Mine's every day I'm buffering. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because I have gigabit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it still buffers though. and then my guest network is called <laughs> only friends oh, oh my gosh <laughs> you gotta make turn. it Cole's, or, uh, your, uh, Danes was share the sock <laughs> <laughs> that's gross come on <laughs> no idea what it meant <laughs> me either but it's funny sounding <laughs> we uh <laughs> wait, I wow. have two feet <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think? Should we give Andrew this present? Oh yeah, let's yeah, give him yeah, the present. Yeah, it's my present. Do you know what's him. in it? No. Oh, well, it's I actually, don't. You I know. Know. It's, it's actually you from all of us. You told me to go get it. It's actually from it all of us. It was his Minolta. So. 
I'm so confused. No, what no, are you no, talking no, no, about? No, no, no. Just, just stop. Nothing. Your camera? No, 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 no. Mm. Stop. <laughs> just, just, just let us do the thing and you'll catch on. <laughs> just let it happen and you'll uh, catch on. Okay. I'm really confused. Let's have him. Let's have him open it and then right. we're gonna talk about Tuesday tip and then we're gonna wrap this thing up. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Here's, so here's David has a present for Teo. It's an early birthday present yeah. for my oh, friend over here. I like found it and yeah. I knew I had to buy it and he just couldn't wait and it came in. And now we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it live. We're, we'll do it live. Do it live. We just wrapped it. Tristan Talks. helped wrap it. I asked make sure with my knife. I asked them to make sure it wasn't like uh, inappropriate. No, we for can the show it. It's all. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I save my inappropriate gifts for later. Later. David, like David's the one friend. who puts the podcast together, and he'll just do one of those little blur things over the top of it. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. But we'll describe it for the audio listeners. So you need to yes. read out the box for us. <laughs> read the okay. It's a Netgear upgrade to Wi-Fi <laughs> six for today's smart devices. Recommended it's really for awesome, two to three isn't it? bedroom home. I knew you'd love it. Did you, twenty devices. Did you need a new router? An AX one thousand eight hundred Wi-Fi six router. Yeah. Oh the un- yeah. The unfortunate Definitely thing is, yeah. it's, it's Wi-Fi six. It's not six E. You gave him an older style. Yeah, that's what I have. <laughs> that's what because he updated his. Yeah. Can you show us? Can you show us? I want to see what it looks like. Yeah. Look at that yeah, beautiful awesome. router. Look at, this. look at this thing. It's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. The AX unofficial classic Netgear. One point mm. five times faster compared to AC. Dang. Uh, yeah. Air conditioning. I don't. Even, I don't <laughs> I don't AC even know is, what mine is. AC is the last I just standard. Have the, I just have the Xfinity st- st- stinky box. I can't you believe pay it. 20 bucks a month for their dumb box. It, uh, <laughs> it, it opens he loves in a way you just, it has like a little Dude, flippy flip. it's wow. so bad. Why would you? Why would you? It might be all you can get. Is that all you can get out there? No, well, no, no, not no, the I Comcast, have, but you say you're using their box. So it's like yeah, 20 I'm using bucks a box. month. It's, yeah. What's in the box? Yeah, we need to watch the yeah, box. Yeah, show us what's in the box. What's in the box? Because there's something inside of it. We said established it's a router. <laughs> Tristan's really he, special. He's he's a slow person. So you put something that's not from the manufacturer in the box. Here. What's wrong with you, you monster? <laughs> the bo- so, so we open up the box. Here, here we have a Minolta Instant I can't Pro believe package. The eBay listing was wrong. <laughs> and oh my gosh, what the flip flop is this? That looks very <laughs> I, similar. I have not seen this before. You have What the heck? No. So it's it's a Minolta that it's looks a Minolta like a Polaroid. Instant Pro. It looks yeah. like the Spectre. It pops up. It uh, has the uh, oh, yeah. What the heck? I really like the design on top. Like oh, the yeah. uh, shutter button has like red diagonal lines oh, yeah. on it against yeah. the black. It looks really. Oh, look and at it that. Pops up <coughs> and, and it uses Polaroid Spectre film, of course. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, got you lots said of that. You, you said you wanted to test uh, <laughs> test out the other one, so you, you can make your mods to one. You give the man a camera with no film. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry, dude. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't afford the shipping in the film. He's gonna be like, oh here, <laughs> Cole. I got I you a new mold. digital camera sorry. with no. How dare you accuse SD my camera card. of being moldy? But no, I does didn't know Minolta made a, uh, a yeah, camera like they this. actually this made is... it side by side with a uh, Polaroid. So you wanted me to go get the Minolta earlier? That's what you, you wanted me to get? <laughs> You're no. so stupid. <laughs> you said go get the Minolta. Cole has a Minolta camera How in was the I supposed office? to know that? It's in the office. I mean, We've talked about this. It's been in here for yeah. months. I'm just supposed to know the name of the camera that he never uses. I bet You're you know so the name of the iPod model out there, too, on the a classic. shelf. It's like a fifth or sixth gen. Video. Yeah. This is really cool. I was this watching is, uh, I've got episodes really of The cool. Office on that thing. <laughs> yeah. There's Thank a, you, David. I really appreciate yeah. it. I saw it. I was searching for something on eBay. And I was like, I knew That's you like cool. Minolta's, and I knew you didn't have one like that specifically. The mm. Instant Pro. Yeah. Well, the other one's not called an Instant Pro, even though they made Polaroid made one called an Instant Pro that looked exactly like that one. No. Interesting. But what was the name of the one you had? It was called the Spectre. Yeah, it's Spectre. a Spectre SE. The so, 007. That one has like a screen on it. Yeah, it's got it's got that little uh, yeah. call out screen on the back nice. that just gives you the uh, yeah the different stuff. It's got these really interesting it's like an old school mm, alarm clock screen. Yeah, yeah. These little interesting buttons. So it came with a manual thing that you kind of saw like yeah, a roadmap yeah. style, and then inside the little um, accessory bag is I think a. Um, you guys, remember that. When you didn't have right. to download a manual, just came with everything. F- like another what tiny manual to show you all the buttons, huh? what they do. Them? Is this a no. <laughs> I believe lens that replacement? is a, um, it's not a lens replacement. 
I believe what it is, it, it's a cleaning kit for the um, autofocus. Because you see on the outside of that box, you can pull this, pull that, and it comes out. And I think it blows air into the autofocus. Oh. I don't even, if you're not watching, I don't know how to explain it to you. He's pulling and it's flapping. (laughs) I'm pulling a cord. I think it snaps on the outside. There's a snake in my (laughs) boot. You got it. This was in there with it. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was just in the box. It it was in the accessory little thingy. That's how it came. Oh, I don't don't know what's the next line. (laughs) (laughs) Mammoth. Yeah. You got a friend of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we write strike. That's how we end it. Just keep sing it out. Sing us out, Cole. <laughs> yeah, Cole always doing this do the outro. <laughs> no, we got one more thing to talk about. Oh, we'll do the right. outro and then we'll do the thing we're talking about. No, 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 yeah. no. We always we always reiterate the Tuesday tip and and this week's tip. Use purple is, lights, is, man. They look sick. <laughs> ripping it like a lawnmower. <laughs> Time to start up the camera. <laughs> now I can take some photos. <laughs> <laughs> Just need some film, man. I wish I, I wish you could Maybe take you're pictures. Maybe use with it with it on, because like it has <laughs> see through bits for yeah, the rest uh, of the. I want to see through, and those are magnifiers. Oh, oh, so maybe that's just to. Um, oh. Yeah. Maybe just lets you take a uh, maybe macro photos or something. Yeah, Zoom. and this is probably a uh, a distance. Oh, really? A little yeah. measure. Oh, this I is had a measure. no idea what so it this. Been. Yes, it is. It is. I, I'm looking through it right now. Yeah, it is oh, the perfect the focal focus. Dis- yeah, yeah. No it's the focal distance measure. That is oh, really, that is cool. really cool. So it blocks out the um, autofocus. Yeah, because that's what this is. This is yeah, that's it, cool. this uses yep. echolocation to yeah. uh, to autofocus, like bats. Oh, like dude, you, like you got a Batman cam. Yeah, I do. Bat cam. Oh. Bat cam. <laughs> no, 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 no. I so didn't, so that's really I, cool. I baby. just got that today, and yeah. I didn't take a very close look at it, so that was my Super guess. Super cool. How oh, did you know dude. everything about this already? Chad GPT is way better Chad than you. G- I, I shouldn't have consulted Can we Chad replace GPT? him with Chad GPT? <laughs> I think it's funny that you they can, uh, can write code. They send it to you in this net gear box. <laughs> no, they sent it to me in a different box, and it was he was trying to bamboozle a horrible you. unboxing experience. <laughs> so. A horrible unboxing experience. What is that? I reused the packaging foam. Though. Okay, and yeah, also like it doesn't recycling. package up like that. And I I too was confused by the box. Too. Nice. You were easily confused by boxes. Okay, real quick. Tuesday tip this week was uh, using your iPhone as your webcam. Uh, the reason yeah. th- that we wanted to talk about this is because uh, this is kind of like the expanded version. We figured out that uh, it essentially gives you the ability as well to just be able to use your iPhone wirelessly with your with your uh, MacBook, and you can use it for different things. Like we're talking about potentially using this for like live streams and just like throwing mm. the phone on a gimbal and like it's wirelessly transmitting to the computer and it's there's like no latency yeah it was like really good, <laughs> really good quality too was, uh, we did a facetime call and it was very pristine like i was very surprised like it didn't look like i mean compared to webcams built in to like laptops and stuff it's just nuts how much better it looks yeah and, and i think know. that's I, I think it's silly that we have to do this now but I mean, the fact that it, they give you the option and it works as well as it does, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a nice, uh, nice little extra. You gonna tell my dad about that? What? You remember what my dad was asking you about? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Is he still on vacation right now? No, he's back. He's back. Okay, I probably should. Is he gonna him. listen to this podcast? Probably no, not. He's not gonna listen. Is he to gonna this. use his iPhone as a webcam? Does he have an iPhone? He does. Yeah, my he mom does use too. It as a okay. webcam. Okay, you have to be your MacBook does have to be on Ventura. Oh, that, um, never mind. Yeah, Wouldn't and, and that your iPhone has to be on mind. iOS 16. They have an iMac. Will it work like with 2012. Android? Oh, gotcha. Does it work I don't. With? I'm, yeah, I'm, it probably. I don't want to say it's it's not supported, but there's. But, hey, uh, I'm assuming they're probably not. Probably not. No, no. But I, very cool option. I, I, you know, the thing is, is, so like I come into the office and I set my laptop down and I close it and then I plug it into my base and it goes to my monitor, so uh, then I don't have to worry um, about it. So it's like the problem is, if I want to do a video call, I would actually use the Nikon. <laughs> yeah, oh, might yeah. as well. Which is fine, 
but the nice thing the only other nice thing is like if you use the Nikon you have to use an external mic Mm-hmm. Because the mic shuts off on your MacBook if you shut the <laughs> clamshell. Why don't you get one of those mm. like old camcorders and use that as a like, webcam? Like a VHS. Now I can just use my phone. Not like a VHS, <laughs> but like I know what you mean. Though. The digital camcorders. I mean, those things are designed to take video, right? Mm. So, I don't know. The only thing is, again, I could just I can literally plug in my my uh, Nikon and just use it if I like if yeah. I'm really trying to blow the client's mind it's like you like, jump on a video call and all of a sudden you know it's like whoa you could use re- the 50 you could use our podcast set because you can just plug in USB-C and act like a camera that's true you could just yeah. do a little mm-hmm. switchy just, switchy if you could just zoom in your camera right there just plop down use the sure microphone I use the sure at my desk yeah but the last time right here with the nice camera you, don't you know do I gotta say without that table in here this room feels so much bigger it does like yeah it's set up it's good and you guys this, will finally is this the listen first? to my advice yes this is the first time i've been in here first time i've done a podcast in this setup okay yeah sorry yeah. and you finally listen to my advice to film your ad reads i know separate. golly i know speaking I of that we need to update this <laughs> you need to update <laughs> them come on you have all the time in the world to do a perfect read. I know, right? Yeah. I know. We've been using the crappy pre-recorded ones when you first Okay, came. we're losing Tristan. Let's wrap this thing up. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's still. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. Well, Andrew, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks yeah. for hanging out. Thanks, thanks for showing us your cameras. Uh, thanks for having me. Again, I highly recommend if you guys have the option to go on youtube and watch this uh it's also on facebook um you'll be able to see the things that uh andrew brought so that you can see the different cameras and maybe uh maybe even send us a little list of you know the models or something we can pull some pictures Mm. and try to put them out there too you know we should do do you have like a an instagram or something that you'll be putting like your photos that you you'll be taking on oh yeah yeah i've got an instagram totally will will you be pumping it full of your photos so you'll be taking with these once a year. Once a year? No. Nice. <laughs> That's my thing. That's my thing. <laughs> you just, just do a rare drop. A rare yeah. drops at uh, Ayo, NFT. 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 NFT yeah. them all. Underscore. NFT. Under. Between the words oh. there, but yeah. What, you, what is Go your Instagram? Ayo, it's Tao. Yes. Ayo, Thank you. Ayo, Ayo. Yeah. yeah. A-Y-Y-O underscore I-T-S underscore T-E-O. Boom. Now you know. A-O. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you'll know. It's like, just bada like, boy. wait on the edge of your seat for this man to post. Yep. Yep. But if uh, you'd like to see more regular posts, you can follow Triflix LLC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we post every day. So yep. you can Except see what we're we up to. Yeah. Most of the time we do. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Okie right. dokie. Thanks. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Come back. Check us out. We've got more guests that we're going to have on. People that are familiar. People that aren't familiar. We're doing some fun things. So we'll be back. Mm -hmm. That was episode 18. We appreciate you. That's all I have. That's all I have. It's all good. I'm so excited to uh, be a permanent part of the place here, you know? Yeah, welcome. Permanent seat. (laughs) (laughs) Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Bye!